All right, so this is the notes for the last lesson in chapter six. Um, and so, you know, looking at what we've learned before about linear equations and how they apply to parallel and perpendicular lines. So first, parallel lines, that's pretty easy. If lines are parallel, their slopes are the same. Not much more has to be said about that. If lines are perpendicular, it's a little bit trickier. The slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals of one another. Um, so what does that mean, opposite reciprocal? Well, the word opposite um, and the word reciprocal are each very specific things, and I think the best way of explaining it is just to show. So let's look down here. I have two lines. I want to state the perpendicular slope to each, um, and then sketch an example. So for example, first let's find the slope of this line. Pick two points. I don't know, how about here and here? Check the slope. It goes up to over one. So the slope of the line in blue is 2 over 1, or just 2. Okay, that's the slope of the line in blue. Slope is 2. So a slope of something perpendicular to it, and the symbol, you know, we usually use m for slope. So for perpendicular slope, we, we usually use m with, looks like an upside down t. It just meant to be a symbol for two lines that are perpendicular. Remember, if lines are perpendicular, they meet at exactly 90 degrees. And so the perpendicular slope first is the opposite of 2. The opposite of 2 means negative instead of positive. And reciprocal is, you know, the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. And that's it. Um, so opposite means the different sign. Reciprocal is the fraction essentially flipped around. And if you look at 2 as a fraction, instead of 2 over 1, it's 1 over 2. And so what does a slope of negative 1 over half look like? Because I want to sketch that. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I just got on my grid somewhere. I'll pick a point. How about here? Okay. And to show a slope of negative 1 over 2, I want to go down 1 and over 2. Do that again, and I got enough to show my line. And these two lines, you'll see, are perpendicular. They meet at exactly 90 degrees. And so my line in red is one example of a perpendicular line to what's in blue. And notice, they meet at exactly 90 degrees right there. That was it, opposite reciprocal. So looking right here, let's find the slope of the line in blue. So pick two points. How about here and here? I go down one over 1. So my slope of this is negative 1 over 1, or just negative 1. So the slope of the line perpendicular to it would be first the opposite sign. So instead of po negative, it's positive, which you don't really have to write down, but why not? And the reciprocal of 1 is 1. I mean, it's 1 over 1 flipped over. So you could say positive 1 over 1, or 1 at just 1. So the perpendicular slope to negative 1 is positive 1. And to show that, I'll pick a point on my graph, maybe I don't know, right in the middle, the origin. And a slope of 1 is up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 1, do it a few times. That's more than enough. Draw this. And notice again, these lines cross at exactly 90 degrees. Although, honestly, I can draw any line with a slope of 1 will be perpendicular to what I drew in blue. For example, if I start right here and draw a slope of 1, notice it'll still cross the line in blue at 90 degrees. So it's still perpendicular to 90 degrees. All right. So what about these two examples? OK. So for this one again, pick two points. How about here and here? So the slope of this line, I go down 4 over 5. So it's negative 4 fifths. I can see the slope of a perpendicular line is going to be positive 5 fourths. And again, pick a point, maybe right here. Count up 5, count over 4, connect the dots, and you'll see they cross at 90 degrees. Last one. I have a horizontal line. The slope of a horizontal line is 0. We saw that earlier. So what's the slope of a vertical line? Um, well, first let me just draw a vertical line. It's pretty easy to visualize. How about right there? Um, Remember, a vertical line, the slope of a vertical line cannot be defined as a number. It's undefined. So the vertical slope is undefined. And remember, this comes from the fact that if you find the slope by picking two points, you're, you'll be dividing by 0. And division by 0 is undefined. And again, really just goes back to this, just kind of summarizes what we saw in a few lessons ago with slope. Horizontal lines have a slope of 0. Vertical lines have a slope that's undefined. All right, so now let's connect this with the last few lessons. I want to find the slope-intercept equation 
of a line that's perpendicular to the one shown, but has the same y-intercept. So first, what does that look like? So here's my the y-intercept. Let's start with that. Y-intercept is right here. So I want to find the equation of not this line here, of a line that goes to that point in red, but is perpendicular. Let me make a rough little sketch. So roughly, I don't know, something like this. That's roughly 90 degrees. Now, I didn't grab a protractor or anything. But uh, in general, I'm trying to find the equation of that line right there, essentially. Um, and so how do I do that? Well, I can't really rely on what I drew. I just drew it really quickly with a ruler. So, but that's the idea of what I'm trying to find the equation of that line there. So the first thing I want to do is realize the equation of that line in red, which again, I just sketched it out really quickly, I know has a y-intercept of three. So I know the equation of the line in red. I can start by saying y equals mx plus b, or even better, y equals mx plus three. All that's left is to find out the slope of this line in red. How do I find the slope of the line in red? I don't want to count squares for the line in red, because again, I just drew that really, really quickly as an estimate. I want to look at my line in blue, pick two points. How about here and here? Find the slope of the line in blue. It goes up one over four, so the slope of the line in blue is one quarter. Therefore, my perpendicular slope, the one in red, must be negative not 1 over 4, negative 4, the reciprocal of 1 over 4. And now I know my equation of the line in red. It is negative 4 times x plus 3. And if I want, I could now adjust to make my graph a bit more accurate, although I will say, honestly, just kind of by fluke, um, what I drew was pretty much spot on. If I, from one point, I go down 4 over 1. Um, but I don't expect to always draw them so nicely. But all that means is what I drew was really a very good sketch. All right, so same idea here. <coughs> I want to find the equation in slope-intercept form of a line that is parallel to the one shown but has an x-intercept of 1. So first let's visualize that. An x-intercept of 1 is like right here, but it's parallel. So I'm going to just, again, just going to make a quick sketch with a ruler that looks roughly parallel, maybe something like that. Okay, so I'm trying to find the equation of that line I just sketched out in red. Oh, sorry, I just drew a line with an uh, x-intercept at positive one, I want negative one. So my negative one's right here. Okay. So again, here's my quick sketch. What's the equation of that line? That's the idea. So first, um, I don't know the y-intercept of this line in red, unlike before, so I want to use my point-slope form. So I'm going to start with this, y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. Remember from last day, we can find the equation of any line if we know its slope and a single point. Well, I know a point. Uh, it's that point in yellow that I highlighted. Right, That point that I've highlighted in yellow is at negative 1, 0. So I'm going to call negative 1 my x1, 0 my y1. And so I'll go back to my equation here. At y equals, I'll leave it as m for a moment, x minus negative 1 plus 0. Well, it's kind of silly to have the plus 0. It's also kind of silly to have the subtract negative 1. So let me just write it, write it as y equals m times x plus 1. Right, subtracting a negative, same as adding. Adding 0, no point keeping that. So all that's left is my slope. What's the slope of that line in red? Well, I know it's, per it's parallel to the line in blue. So let's look at the line in blue, pick two points here and here. What's the slope of this? We go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We go down 6 over 1. So the slope of the line in blue is negative 6. And the line in red is parallel. So the slope of the line in red is also negative 6. And there's my slope. All that's left now is to put this in slope-intercept form, which means really just distribute the 6, and I'll be done. There we go. Negative 6x, take away 6. And that's my equation. Again, the, I'm connecting all the last few lessons to uh, this idea of if lines are parallel or perpendicular. And so while that's the end of the lesson, in terms of the notes, Keep in mind this part here, the only new part was way up here. If lines are parallel, their slopes are the same. If lines are perpendicular, which is what we spent most of our time on because it is the trickiest part, the slopes are opposite reciprocals of one another. Other than that, 
the rest of this lesson is about connecting back to our last few lessons. And those are the most challenging sort of questions where we have to connect it back to finding equations of various lines. But I'm done in this lesson. Again, the last lesson in this chapter. So 